We're going to explore around this area and once we go to the marina, we can explore the actual land and then we want to move to some islands that are like way to the back and then we can do some kiting and snorkeling there. Hopefully there's not too many hills. Baby, we didn't bring the, the charger. No. All this for this package. to be doing this and to finally like take a rest and get off the computer and be just underwater doing cool stuff. Woo, we got the knife. are going to a rock that we just uncovered from the net. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Technically, we have just built an underwater house for the fishing. <laughs> and forth up and down just to get the rid of the net but it felt good once we saw the fishes going right yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you feel accomplished 
Why do you see all this cool fish going to that rock? No, it's pretty cool. You can't spear fish at all here in Antigua, but and and you can't fish unless you have a license. But the only rule that you break that is if you spear fish lionfish. What's up everyone? Good morning. And today we are going exploring. So we're gonna go anchor right in front of the marina. And then we're gonna take the scooters and yeah, explore the island. We need to go to a post office to pick up two SIM cards from the US. And yeah, that's it. We pretty much have to go around the entire island. So the first stop is a post office that is like literally in the middle of the island. And then from that post office, we have to go to another post office, which is, which is in St. John, which is like the capital. It is not Okay, so we're going. We have lots of trash to get rid of. Like three, more than three weeks worth of trash. Well, since the US Virgin Islands, right? We're heading to the marina, leave the dinghy there, and we are going to go exploring. So we have to drive 30 minutes on the scooters to get to where we have to go. 13 so kilometers. 13 kilometers. We'll see how the battery lasts. Hopefully there's not too many hills. Maybe we didn't bring the, ba the charger. No. It was a 30 minute ride and we have flat butts and hurting hands because we're pressing the accelerator all the time. So, but it's nice. We got to see around, we got to see St. John. Everyone was beaky beaking at us <laughs> and looking at us because I think we're like the only scooters in the entire island or like the only motorcycles. We haven't even seen a motorcycle here. So guys, so here in Antigua or Barbuda, they do a $3,000 fine if you throw trash in the street or like outside. So that's really good. We've been waiting for 40 minutes to get our package and not yet. So, so I want to show you what the flag of Antigua and Barbuda means. Yeah, this is a like a very simple explanation. So this is the flag, national flag, and so the red symbolizes the dynamism of the of the people. The black symbolizes the soil and our African heritage. The blue symbolizes hope. The gold symbolizes the sun, and the white, in the shape of a V, symbolizes victory. And also, the pineapple is the symbol of hospitality. So right now, we just left the post office. We stopped to grab some lunch. We are here in Big Banana. Yeah, we, the second we left the, the post office, it started raining. After we had spent two hours at the post office waiting for them to help us, we didn't have any cash, like any easy that's the currency of Antigua we didn't have anything and we had to pay like two dollars in their currency we, since we didn't have anything we had dollars they didn't want to exchange it because the dollars looked old and then uh, the nice guy from the door the security guard he actually offered and he paid the money for us and we gave him the dollars <laughs> but we're finally eating because we're starving like super hungry and and that's it, we're gonna go we look around. I don't know, what are we getting? What do you want? I wanna get a pizza. We always want some pizza. We forgot to record and we already ate <laughs> like all the pizza. Oh. <laughs> As you can tell, this is a massive pizza. Look at my hand. We eat a lot. And 
I literally was like a pizza lover. Right, babe? <laughs> this guy is so, so fat. Like, I don't know where he's where all the pizza went. I ate two slices, and you ate how many? Six. How many? Six slices. <laughs> So yeah, this is the port of St. John. St. John. It's a little cloudy today, but it's still nice to be out and to see the, the city all around. Yeah, town. See the little town. The little houses are pretty. It's pretty nice. Hello, Captain. Do not touch. It will break. I'm so full, can't even walk. How are you not full? He ate six pizzas. Oh, so we are going to a pet store because Ozzy has an ear infection. And so even though we've been cleaning it with like apple cider vinegar, which is good, we own a business where we sell pet supplies and grooming supplies for dogs. That includes an ear cleaner that removes ear infections. And Ozzy has an ear infection right now and we don't have anything with us. Well, we do have some things, but we don't have the ear cleaner. And so we're gonna try to stop at some pet stop, like a pet shop or something, see if we, they have like the little thing to clean the dog's ears. It's not a big deal, but it's really uncomfortable for him. We made it back to the marina and now we have to figure out how to put the scooters down there. Hi Mari. <laughs> Don't grab it so hard. <laughs> I will end up in the ocean. Pues que como hago yo. Subo el agua. Metí la cámara por lo menos. Okay. Got it. What a long day. All this for this package. Long, long day. Um, it's four, so it's right before sunset. Some of you wonder how we launch from the boat, and I'll tell you. So we extend the lines all around the boat. So we literally, we walk, we walk, we walk all around the boat and extend the lines. I already did that, so I can't show you. And then I just enroll the bar like this, so that it's like straight. And we put it here on this one. We make sure to move the dinghy on the other side. That way it won't like get tangled with the kite or anything like that. And then we use this line, which is the line that we would attach to our harness. Let's say if it was like we were sailing and we had to attach our harness to walk around the boat. This is the line that we would use and we tie it to the kite. Okay, so the next thing that you're gonna do is slowly release the bar and make sure none of the lines are around you, around your head, your feet, your fingers, because that could be horrible. You could be like, your hand could come up, I don't know. He lets go of the, far, of the bar like really fast because the kite like takes on air. And, and then you just let the kite do its thing. So guys, 
Andrea's gonna put on the board. So, Echo, tell us how do you feel? Huh? How do you see your mama? <laughs> 